Okay, good morning, good morning, guys. Hey, look at that. We're still here where we were yesterday, but uh, hey, let's get our day started. Let's come and ride along through these mountains to uh, Surrey, BC with me. So will you? Stick around after the intro. towards Surrey BC yes indeed we are we just woke up this morning and uh, I noticed we had a load offer already yes indeed which is very very nice it is a very nice trip very nice load I like everything about it only problem I'm having with it is uh, I made a mistake of not properly looking where it's to be picked up. See, I told dispatch yesterday, I want to be home for Friday. And this could all be possible if I had the hours. The problem is, <laughs> as you guys know, I've been running since, since uh, you know, a good while already, you know. I, I mean, I've been up there in Windsor for a couple of days doing pretty much nothing. So, you know, I had some pretty good hours now but if I could have just picked up a load out of Vancouver here and uh, gone straight back home, I would have made it for Friday, but I didn't look all the way at the bottom where, it, where it's to be picked up. And so what happened is this load is picking up in Oregon, which is five hours from Surrey South. <laughs> so that is gonna be putting me home Saturday sometime, you know, because I'll have to wait for the recap to kick in, you know, and so uh, I tried to call dispatcher already and then ask him if they couldn't find me something closer, but he wouldn't answer his phone, so I'm going to try later on again, see if I can get a hold of him and hopefully we can uh, resolve it or maybe he can find me something different or if there really ain't anything different, then I'm just going to accept it because uh, it is a nice trip. Nothing wrong with the trip. I would, on any given day, I would love to have that trip. And the only reason why I'm saying this is I really wanted to be back for Friday evening because uh, we actually have planned to go camping this weekend. And uh, so uh, that kind of sucks, but... Uh, if I can't be back till Saturday morning, that's fine too. I'll just be, uh, I'll just have to accept the fact, you know. That's just part of trucking. That's the way it goes sometimes. I'm totally positive on this because uh, I do know that it is a little bit of a slow season right now. And I mean, that's five, uh, you know, almost six hours driving that I have to do empty just to go pick up a load, you know? And so, uh, you know, nothing wrong with the load. It's, it's a beautiful load. I mean, I know exactly where it's going. I do know it's a bit of a heavier load, but it doesn't matter. It's, it's a good load. I had good load coming down here. I did very good on fuel mileage. And, uh, yeah, so uh, I'm not going to complain about that load at all. <laughs> I love it. Matter of fact, of speaking, but... I want to talk to dispatch later and see what he's got to say and if that's what we got to do that's what we got to do man that's just the way it's going to be but yeah what that might do is i might just drive my maximum hours that i have until i'm out of hours and then uh i might go to bed early friday night or something like that because i'll probably be stopped early on friday because i won't have lots of hours for friday and then I could just roll right after midnight, right? I could still be home probably fairly early uh, Saturday morning. And I might still be able to go camping. Yeah. We'll have to see how that goes. But anyways, uh, that's all I got to say for now. Let's keep our positive And uh, let's put the hammer down to Surrey. Well, guys, we have made it past Cam 
looks now? Yes, indeed, we have. And it's gotten a little foggy up here on the top of the mountain, but uh, here we are starting to go downhill. Yes, indeed, we are. We're just a little bit past Cam Loops now on Kokohala Highway 5. This is uh, maybe not right here, but a little further down the road is where they film the show Highway Through Hell. Yes, indeed, in wintertime, where you see a lot of wrecks and these tow trucks come out here and get these vehicles out of the ditch, you know? Whether it's a four-wheeler, big truck, medium truck, whatever it is, you know, you have to come and get them, right? But I think we are getting very close to Merritt, Ontario. Uh, Merritt, Ontario. Uh, uh, Merritt, BC. Yeah. There is a Merritt, Ontario as well. Marathon, Ontario, I think that's what that one is called. But anyways, yeah, we are... Uh, getting some rain also which started yesterday afternoon and it seems like it hasn't stopped yet <laughs> that's not good but oh well what can you do eh nothing i can do about it but uh yeah we got us another three hours to go yet before we will be at our delivery place so GPS says I should be there at the 11 o'clock, uh, 12 o'clock I meant to say, 11.58. But uh, we gotta make a pit stop before we get there. We will be stopping in uh, Hope, BC. We'll be making a pit stop over there. We gotta get us some go-go juice. What that means is diesel fuel. I'll probably go take me a shower as well. Go grab me a bite to eat and then we'll go deliver this load. And then we'll go from there. Steep downgrade ahead. Oh really? We got more steep downgrade ahead? Alright, alright. I think this is the part where we uh, sort of uh, go down for many, 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 many miles. And then of course we got to climb it up again. <laughs> they even got a runaway uh, lane up here in case you lose control. But luckily for me we got our uh, top end rebuilt right so my engine brake is super strong i don't even have to do nothing i just let my engine brake control the engine or the, the speed i just set my cruise and i generally have it set at 96 kilometers an hour so that's exactly what we got now and as soon as it goes a little bit a couple of kilometers over that speed the engine brake starts kicking in eh? and it's able to control it no problem Mind you, I don't have a super heavy load, uh, heavy load either, but still, it's able to control it, you know, and it never, uh, for the last, I would say, year, it, it would never, even with the light load that I have now, it would never hold it. it. It wouldn't be strong enough to even hold it. I would have to step on my brakes, so. So now we're happy, happy that we got that. That's for sure, I tell you that much. It, I love my new engine brake. It cost me 40 Forty-six hundred dollars or something like that to get it put in, but just that alone. But uh, hey, it's worth every penny. I guarantee you that. But anyways, we'll continue on cruising along here. I gotta give my customer a call here pretty soon and let them know that we're right on schedule. I think for one o'clock. I think I'm gonna tell them one o'clock. We'll be there, and then that way uh, it leaves me a little room to. Uh, to uh, take a shower and get some fuel and all that stuff. That we, uh, they kind of have an idea on when I will be there, right? Alrighty guys, we are still going downhill here on this Kukahola Highway. Yeah, we're going down a stretch right now where it's a very steep downhill. Very steep uphill, I guess, for the other way, but uh, very steep downhill for us. And I guess they got some uh, overpasses over here just for the uh, avalanche and stuff like that to uh, come across if that ever happens in winter. But yeah, here we are. Basically going into some tunnels. Yeah, that's right. I know we're going pretty fast down here, but it's because I don't really have to worry about it. I'm only 2,600 pounds in the box, right? So don't really have to worry about 
losing control because too fast downhill, right? Yeah, so that's it pretty much. Everybody else that's got a heavy load is going to have to go fairly slower because otherwise they might lose control because of their brakes. And not me. And the other thing is it's really high speed up here too, you know, it's 120 kilometers an hour speed limit up here, so... Yeah, you can actually roll down this mountain pretty fast. <laughs> yeah, I think we got a few of these uh, tunnels up here in a row. I think there's like five of them up in a row up here, so... We might see a few more yet. We're not at the bottom yet, that's for sure. See, there's another runaway uh, lane up here in 400 meters, so... If you still haven't managed to get it under control up to here, you can take that runaway lane, I guess. Yes, indeed. Well, we're only about 43 kilometers away from uh, getting to uh, Hope, BC, and that's where we will be taking a little bit of a break. And get us a bite to eat, take a shower, fuel up, and all that good stuff. So, take care of business, as they say. Yes, indeed. It is fairly uh, steamy or whatever you want to call it, foggy up there in the mountains today, so you can't really see the big mountains up there today. That kind of sucks because I really wanted to show them to you guys. Be really nice scenery up here for you, but oh well. Maybe you guys are just going to have to go back in my ar archive and look at my older videos I do have some scenery videos from here where there is nice sunshine you get to see the nice big mountains up here but would have been kind of nice to do that today too but oh well maybe next time right alrighty guys as you can see we're wearing a new shirt yeah that means we've had a shower yeah we stopped there at that uh, Hope Flying J Hope BC fueled her up and uh, yeah, I took a shower, had a bite to eat, they have a subway in there, had us a good bite to eat in there. Now it's hammered down towards uh, Surrey to do our delivery. Yes, indeed. Yeah, so let's see uh, if we can find the place. I already talked to the guy there earlier. He says it's uh, an existing place, so this one is not going to be under construction, or it's under construction, but it's not in uh, a brand new place, so it should be easy to find. So the GPS should be correct on the uh, location. So yeah, we'll see if we can find it, and hopefully there will be enough room in there so we can deliver our load. And I'm kind of hoping it ain't raining over there though. That's something that I'm really hoping for. But yeah, that's the plan as of right now. We'll go down there and do that. And then uh, supposedly we're supposed to head south. Yeah, so we'll see how that goes. We got another scale coming up here in a few miles it looks like. Yep, that's right. When I was leaving that Flying J there, it looked like right across the street there, there were a couple of these uh, red uh, vehicles that Jamie uh, from the Highway Through Hell show uh, had placed there and looked like they were for sale. There was one tow truck and I think two other uh, smaller vehicles there. They were all red. Uh, and all, I, from what I could tell, it said Jamie's, you know, James on there, or Jamie's, or whatever. So yeah, oh, look at that, a three-wheeler. <laughs> uh, looks like the scale is open, because that guy's got a single light on. Going in there, looks like they are open. But they are almost always open too, so. Looks like they got a big lineup over there too. Yeah, let's try and slow her down so we can be at normal speed going in here. 
or at decent speeds anyways. Yeah, that flat bag, flat bag there, he's empty, so he's taking the left lane there it's because he's empty, right? So, so yeah, let's go see if they want anything from us today, which I highly doubt it, but you never know, right? Could be my lucky day to get inspected. <laughs> Yeah, let's see what they got to tell us. Looks like this guy ahead of us here, he must be pretty heavy. Because he's got wood on. Yeah. That's what he's got. That, we'll see. We'll see what they're gonna tell us today. Commercial Vehicle Inspection Station. That's what this place is called. Yeah. Stop before driving onto the scale. No, well, I almost always do, not always, unless they don't have a sign like that, then I just, whatever. But uh, for the most part, if they do have a, uh, Sign like that, I definitely make sure I stop, right? Yeah, looks like he's on the phone. Well, they got two of them in there today, so. Alright, let's see. Let's do a stop. There you go. Yeah, he looked like a very nice gentleman sitting in the scale there, yeah. He even waved his hand at me saying basically hi and whatever. Very nice uh, guy, but you know, he was a bit of an older guy, so usually when you have a bit of an older guy in the scale, you know, they usually been around for a while, so they kind of know what to look for and that kind of stuff. So yeah, there we go. We're a free chigoo. We are a free man. This is the last scale before we get to our delivery as far as I remember. Oh, there might be a scale up there further down the road. I know there's a scale up there in, uh, in the city area up there, but I don't know if we'll be going by that one though. That's the thing. So then I think this should be the last one. Alrighty guys, looks like we have gotten us an accident up here. Yes, indeed. It's delayed us here for quite some time already. Yeah, I was kind of hoping I could be at my delivery place already, but uh, yeah, this has delayed it me here quite a bit. But looks like it's going to open up here as soon as we get past this here. So let's see what's happened over here. Oh my, got like a four-wheeler hit the guardrail up there for some odd reason. I don't know what they tried, but they definitely tried something. It's not looking too good. Airbags went off. Hopefully everybody is okay though. So here we go. Let's get out of here. Alrighty guys, we are now on the back roads up here in Surrey, BC, guys. Yeah, beautiful country up here, that's for sure. We're only about uh, 11 kilometers to my delivery, guys. So we're getting real close, yeah. We had that major delay up there with that uh, accident up there, but uh, hopefully we can still get there today and get unloaded. That's the plan anyways. I mean, I did talk to them earlier and they said, yeah, they will get me unloaded, but technically I should be there right about now, but uh, because we had that delay up there, I wasn't able to uh, get there right on time but we'll be only about 15 minutes late unless things change right let's see if they'll let us get through here yeah looks like they'll let us through here that's awesome yeah they got some kind of construction going on up here so yep well Beautiful big trees, eh? Look at that, guys. Those are big trees up here, that's for sure. Yeah, it's still raining. That kind of sucks. It's kind of open. It wasn't going to be raining, but uh, it does. OK, 
occasionally rain up here in BC. I'm saying that with a little humor. <laughs> it's always raining up here in BC. <laughs> it's almost never not raining up here. Somebody lost their cooler. Yeah, anyways, we'll go deliver this load and then we'll see what happens after that. Finally managed to talk to dispatch. Realized that the regular uh, Western dispatch is on holiday, so I couldn't talk to him. So I had to talk to a different person and they said, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll get you a different load. So, uh, so we'll see. Hopefully we can get us a uh, different load here pretty soon. I still haven't gotten no reload offer yet, but... I'm sure they got something because it sounded like that way anyways so yeah we'll find out what happens right alrighty guys we have gotten off loaded yeah and we got us a reload <laughs> I'm happy 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 oh yeah Good morning. I'm very very happy we got us a better load than uh, well like I said yesterday already it wasn't a bad load or this morning it wasn't a bad load it was just in 600 I needed meters, something a little different that could uh, 76 Street Highway 15 I would have a better chance of getting home on Friday right so yeah in and that meters, we have got turn left on at least as far as I know Street, Highway no. 15. we still gotta go over to our terminal over here and pick up that load and then start heading towards home Yes, indeed. We have gotten a load that goes straight back home. That is fantastic. You don't get that very often at all. That is a fact. But we do have it now, so... Well, supposedly it's at the terminal, right? So we got to go down there and pick it up. That's the only thing, right? Yeah, look at this gravel truck here. Two trailers, eh? But yeah, so let's go ahead and go pick that load up and then uh, we'll keep you up to date if uh, everything worked out, eh? We'll let you guys know. Well, guys, if you guys can tell, we are back in the mountains. Yeah, definitely. And it has finally stopped raining again for a little bit. It stopped raining up there in Surrey, BC, but then... Uh, as we started getting back into the mountains up here, it uh, rained again, but now it has disappeared. Yes, indeed, I'm happy about that. I've been driving uh, in the rain for the last pretty much day. I mean, it started yesterday afternoon. So, uh, yeah, I'm a happy camper. And on top of that, we got our reload on. We got our preloaded trailer picked up there at the terminal. Now we're hammered down and down, going home sweet home. Looks like we're going to make it home for Friday afternoon, which we had originally planned. Yes, indeed. I'm very happy about that. If you have noticed up here to the right, there's a little bit of a... I don't know if you can actually call that a river, but supposedly it is a river. But yeah, I'm kind of glad it's starting to clear up a little bit so we can show you the big mountains up here. Yes, indeed. Hope the camera does justice for you. So you guys can see what I see. Yeah, I love sharing what I see. Definitely do. Oh, yeah. I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. Because we don't get to go here very often. And whenever we do, we try to get as much video footage of it as we possibly can. That is always the goal. Yes, indeed it is. Chin up area on 600 meters. That means we got a big, big hill to climb here pretty soon. And that's the one that I showed you, I believe, earlier this morning. Where we were coming down at. And we were going through a snow shed. And that's the big hill that we got to climb here pretty soon. So that ain't going to be too much fun because now we have a heavy load, I think 44,000 pounds, so that's going to be a tough one to climb that one, I guarantee you that. But we will do what we can and what we always do, right? We will get over it and I'll be a little slower than maybe some others, maybe not, maybe yes. We'll see, right? 
usually there is somebody out there that's heavier than me you know especially some of these guys they got two trailers or they got a triple axle or three axle trailer I meant to say and they can hold way heavier stuff and plus up here in Canada you're allowed to hold haul heavier stuff anyways than the US so and I mean I'm still legal even for the US side so you know I'm, I'm, I should be good should be able to pass a few guys like that guy that just went the other way there he had two trailers full of lumber I guarantee you I'd be passing him oh yeah but anyways we'll continue on cruising along here and we'll see where we will end up for tonight I'm kind of thinking Merritt Merritt BC will be our goal for tonight but we'll see we are just coming into Kamloops right now yes indeed we have already passed Merritt BC yes that's where I was planning on maybe stopping but yeah, I decided at the end of the day anyways to continue on and here we are coming into Kamloops and there is a flying J just on the other side of Kamloops so that's where we're going to go down to right now and, but I am going to call it a day over there I'm not going to go further than that today that's all we're going to do today because we need to do uh, or we need to leave something for tomorrow on the day after right because we don't have a lot of hours after this so we need to leave a little bit for those two days right that's the plan anyway so we'll see uh, how that goes but yeah this is cam loops for you this is where we came through this morning yeah we were actually just uh, east of here about 45 minutes and uh, yeah Exit only. So yeah, this morning it looked pretty foggy over here. And right now it's looking okay, but it's still every once in a while drizzling a little bit, but not too bad. Not too bad. And we're basically going all the way to the bottom, it feels like. We're gonna go downhill a long way. Yeah, it looks like there's even a big river there at the bottom over there. I don't think the camera is going to be able to see that. Maybe, but I doubt it. But yeah, we'll go down to the Flying J and call it a day, I suppose. Hey guys, it's the next morning already, but uh, yeah, let's take a look. Yeah, we're still in Kamloops where we spent the night and <laughs> we've been wasting quite a few hours here already, but... Uh, Anyways, uh, I hope you guys uh, really enjoyed yesterday's vlog as you guys probably got to see some good uh, sceneries. Yes, indeed. So I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up, share the video because a lot of people would like to uh, see these sceneries. So if you did, I appreciate it. If you're new to a channel, we'd love to have you hit that subscribe button right down here in the corner and follow our daily journey. Yes, indeed. We try to entertain you guys as much as we possibly can. So, appreciate it. We'll see you right here tomorrow morning on Trucker Rudy signing out. It's time to get going. It's time to move on. Put this behind me. That day is gonna come.